Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. <clears throat> I'm here with uh, a simple operative case. Uh, it's going to be a class one uh, composite on tooth number 31. It's a lower second molar. I thank my patient for allowing me to film this procedure. We're going to utilize something called the stamp technique. I'm sure you've seen a lot of that out there in the restorative world, but this is our technique uh, today. So the first thing we're going to do is u utilize um, something called blockout resin from Ultradent. And along with that, we're going to also use a microbrush. So we're going to duplicate the patient's anatomies, uh, uh, identical t uh, to in which we started today. So that's the beauty of the stamp technique. So I'm using this material. Now you can also use flowable composite, but we uh, we feel we can use this and be able to see uh, our placement a lot better. So then I'm going to actually have my dental so she's going to cover up now while I cure this. Uh, put that in place and cure it. So you notice I put a little bit on the end of the micro brush and now we're getting a nice template. Uh, cure for about 10 seconds and that's about all. I'm going to take a scaler and just go through and use a scaler next. There you go. And we just pop this up like that. Now we've got a perfect replica. You can take a look at that if you want of her anatomy. All right. Now put that aside, come right back in place, and now we can use a fine diamond and get rid of the tooth decay. So we turn up the light. Get rid of what we used to call the old sugar bugs. There we go. So I'm using a very extremely small diameter tip on a fine diamond. Uh, just doing a little fissurotomy, that's all we're doing. Okay, now it's kind of an off angle, so I'm going to use my mirror now to look. Let's see where we are. Here we go. That's all about is, uh, it looks like it was just into dentin. So we're going to use a very fine round burr now. And this is a quarter round. And we use a little water with that. Water helps to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, it's good to be a little more OCD on the water side. As in the tooth loves that. Now someone asked, well can't you do these without anesthetic? Well I've asked I asked my patient that this morning. But you know some will say yes, some will say no, and that's okay. You can do it either way. because uh, these are very almost non invasive. They're just uh they're ready to, to go further down into a tooth and uh when you watch something for a while and you see it turn more of a dark color, that's the indication that, you know what, it's time to do something because the dark color is coming from something. So. All right. And then we we'll dry that off. Take a look. Uh, this is a good time to use your explorer. And we chased it this way, that way. Maybe just a little bit more cleanup. And uh, maybe a little bit more on the distal. I think we'll be fine. Right. Hey, Nicole, could you just uh, ch shut that door behind you? Thank you. Appreciate it. Doing great. And we'll zoom in again. And you can see where we just need a little bit more cleaning. So I'm going to do this slightly on the dry side. And we'll 
do it with the finer diamond. It'll be a little easier to do. So it's just staying on the slightly on the dry side. We still got moisture going in, but I'm just staying on lightly on the dry side. Okay, now we're going to use something called Cavity Cleanser. And I'm going to reset uh, my color. It looks like it might be just slightly blue, so I'm going to reset it. I'm just using a white balance for that. This is a microscope camera. Let's put the white up there, hit the button, and voila, we get a little better color. wasn't exactly black and white, but it was uh, something we could uh, change. Uh, I'm using a Leica microscope, which is nice. It's got a nice feature on it. And go ahead and rinse. And a lot of what I'm doing now is, is just through the use of high magnification. So it's not a, just a camera, but it's a microscope that I'm looking through. So we'd have a split screen to show you that, but... Uh, Really don't no need for it. Uh, let's take my word for it using a microscope. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and etch and prime and get everything ready. Uh, you know the routine. Etch and prime. We'll use a regular brush now, something with bristles, so we can get into the smallest of of crevices. So we'll do that the same way with the adhesive. So. Uh, larger areas where there's um, you know, much more tooth structure missing, then we want to use a micro brush, but for now, all right. Yeah, they got the rug people here today, so you might be hearing some thumping going on around here with some glue in the air. Might have to open a door 10 seconds to go. And now we're rinsing. Now we have these new air water syringe tips that work pretty well too. These are just, I'm barely touching the the tip, and that water is warming up as we speak because we have a a really nice warm water um, warm water um, instant heat in the base of the chair. And I'm going to use something called an air air syringe. Now there's absolutely no water going to this syringe. It's completely filtered. I can push both buttons and nothing happens. Next step is add the adhesive. Uh, this is 3M's adhesive. And that's their um, Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive. So it is a two-stepper. We still have to etch, but I like to still do that. Although there's plenty of one-steppers out there. Now we're coming in with the air-air syringe. And we mark the syringe. We know that there's no water going to this because we actually put a, a red marker on it. And DCI makes uh, wonderful products. It's good, it's good stuff. So now we're going to cure it. We've come more than halfway with our procedure. Everything looks great. And now the fun part reproducing the anatomy. All right, we've gone our 20 seconds. Now we're going to use a, uh, a little bit of flowable and a little bit of posterior composite. Uh, And I'm using going to use an explorer next. Need to open the outside doors and fan out the uh, whatever that is. Oh, 
Okay, so now I'm pulling that in to each cranny. So that's my flowable. That's uh, sure fill. All right, and now here comes material. Now we're using a small amount. We'll go into the crevices. So she's already made that into like a small little acorn. And now she's going to add some more material. She's going to bring some more over. We're going to use something really, really small, like a perio probe to condense. All right, so peridontal probe, all in one. So now we're really pushing this into place, especially on the lingual. So if you got to think the diameter of the the drill itself, uh, the burr, and this are very closely matched. So it's very, very minimally invasive. So we take a real small condenser now. Almost done. Pre-dip that and then wipe. We use visor seal, that's the pre-dip material. It's unfilled resin. My patient's tooth is becoming famous today. <laughs> all right, we're condensing that. That all looks great. Now we're going to put place a little Teflon in place, and that's only temporary. We're not going to leave Teflon in there, but we're just going to place it over our tooth. And then we take another instrument just to kind of stabilize it. Very simple. Procedure. It's going to stabilize it. There we go. Now, you remember that stamp? Well, we're going to use it now. We're going to use the same stabilizing instrument. That's just a. Now, we're going to push this in place. Okay, just get it situated. Uh, let's see. Here we go. There we go. And now you want to just, literally, I'm going to put my hand bracing my patient's chin as I push down and just stamp it in place. That's it. And you'll find that the bite hardly even changes. You're going to get some that squeak out now. Now the key is to remove this. Don't cure it yet. Let's remove that. That gets you the anatomy. Then you take a pair of cotton pliers. Yeah, so I make sure this is what you need to see. And now you just peel that. Which, uh, some of it kind of came out just a hair, but you can push that back in with an explorer. There, like that. And then get rid of that excess. And then you got some on the distal, get rid of that. This is so s small amounts. Maybe go on this marginal ridge. Now, the question is, you know, should you go back in and re-stamp it? No, nope. this is, a, is normal to remove the excess. Before you know it, presto, you've got the original anatomy of the tooth. I mean, like nothing changed whatsoever. Now we can cure that. I'm going to actually turn my light up first and just let the light kind of cure it for a little while. You know, you want to get that least amount of polymerization shrinkage. Now you can go in and light cure it. I usually go right to about 30 seconds. Everything's timed. Now, how do we polish it? Well, we like these flower polishers, uh, so we're going to use, I'll just show you some that are pristine uh, from um, Brassler or flower polishers. Great for composites. Uh, even a bristle brush would be great to getting in there. But these things, I mean, think about it, they almost polish themselves. They really are amazing. And uh, no one's going to know that we were even there today. I'm going to ask for a, a, a change on this one. Give me an update. Okay, 
So there's two, um, there's a medium and then a fine. I'm just going to go in with the medium a little bit and just polish that. See, you hardly have to touch it. I mean, what, what's there to polish, really? Hardly anything. Anything you don't, you really need a light touch at this point. You don't want to go in and push too hard and then remove what you just did. So, and, and this one you can actually push more. Now, a little water would, would be okay. And then what I'm going to do is just use a scaler to do the final check uh, and a lot of air. So there's your scaler there. And then we're going to use a lot of air. And ladies and gentlemen, we are finished. That's nice. I think my patient almost fell asleep. Maybe she did. No, nope. she's up. Uh, anyway, uh, you need information about any of this stuff, uh, especially microscopes uh, or technique, let me know. All right, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Uh, I got an easy cleanup here, and I'm just going to check her bite. But uh, the stamp technique, uh, sorry to say it's not original, but whatever you uh, see out there and works for you, try it. It's great. Take care.